Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill, and we are in no man's land with some friends. That's right, this is a multiplayer no man's land, and it is also on PC, which is something new for me. If you haven't watched Raznak's videos, please go look at them. Quite entertaining. Anyway, we just took over Nostalgic's farm. And this little corner next to the bean field, he had cut down some trees and they were just laying here. So we're cleaning them up and we're going to go sell them. Uh, maybe I need to find some more wood to put in here. This road could extend into this forest a little bit. Our neighbor Gizmo has a field back here. Maybe we should make a field back here as well on this nice long little strip. Probably we could mow it first. If we removed trees as wide as he did, kind of right down that line, that would free up oh, quite a bit more land. So I'm going to work on chopping down these trees, but I'm not going to make you watch it. I'll do that a little bit later. So this is the edge of the world right here. And I just purchased this property. Nostalgic only owned four properties and I think we need to expand first off because otherwise we'll get boxed in and this will be all the bigger our field can be. Now this is the border to our neighbor to the north. Bintar. Most of these trees are on our property. And whoops, this is not our property. This is Bintar's. Our property must be right along the edge of the field there. Yeah, probably right here. So. Those beans have seen better days. Wow. All right, let's see. We're going to drive through here kind of we hit a tree. Almost hit that one. Hit that one. Let's get out of here. I do not want to drive in the beans because uh, Raznak is going to harvest those. He was under contract with Nostalgic and because I have taken over Nostalgic Farm, he now will owe me the fee for harvesting those beans. We need to get a stump grinder. Get rid of these stumps. So here is the map of what we own. That's the property I just purchased. 
But because we have such a debt, I'm going to sell that back just for tonight. I haven't done anything on it yet. And we will buy it first thing in the morning. That way we don't have to pay interest on it overnight. Now what is this? It looks like a stump grinder. All in one. Well, all right, let's go give this goofy looking thing a try. Well, it works pretty good. Gets rid of stumps. I kind of thought we would get wood chips for getting rid of the stumps, but evidently not. Yeah, that is kind of nice. You just drive along and, and the stump goes bye-bye. And here is the lumber mill. See what we can get paid for this. And that's not very much for the wood, but hey, it'll help. We will have to do a tour of the town, but I need to wait on that. We need to get some work done first. So this is our field to the right. Uh, let's go up here. I think this is where the border... Where's the border? Right here. This is our northern edge of this section. Goes into the trees there. That's our home place. Might have to build a road access on that side at some point. Let's drop the wagon here. And let's go pick up our lift and stump grinder. I'll have to figure out where I want to put everything here in a little bit, but for now, let's just get some work done. That must be where Raznak harvested the straw and oats episode. Let's put this right there. And we'll put the lift over here in the corner there. Let's see, what do we need to do? This field looks like three fields. but it has been plowed together to just be one field now. And when it was plowed together, that's why there is lime needed up here on this edge and those little narrow strips in the middle. Let's climb up here and take a vantage look at the field. Nice 
nice little lookout. All right, let's go take a look at the field back there. Looks like there's a dividing line there. Can't see, there it is. And it comes up here to Gizmo's place. And it looks like we could get rid of some of these trees and widen this little piece of the field out. Get a little more real estate here to use. We can do, we can just take down the little trees here on the outside edge. And he's got a little dividing path to separate this field up. And I'm going to remove these bushes. Gaplink and Kaplink. Bushes have their place, but yeah, bleh, I don't like them right next to the edge of the field. Makes it too hard to watch field edges. And I have a nice, well-kept farm. So we're going to get rid of some of these bushes. So if we plan on taking out trees right along this line right there we can widen out the field so I will do that and then I'll be back with you and magically all of the trees are down and all of the stumps are removed while I was moving logs I noticed this over here we have a little bit of debris in our field not sure where it would have come from maybe Gizmo had it up here by his Oh, I can't pick it up with this well maybe I can push it maybe Gizmo had it up here by his building we'll slide it back up here Raznak probably knocked it over while he was harvesting without knowing it and he kind of put his building over here in my field a little bit huh I wonder if we can fix that whoops uh where'd it go oh tucked it right inside the bush Now, can we... Oh, I can't get all the way back there. So that's not my property. I'm going to have to get Gizmo to fix it. If I smooth it... We're right on the line. Well, I'll have to work on that as well. It is the next morning, and we are now working on the new field that we purchased. Clearing up some of these trees that are out in the middle, in the way. And I am mulching them up with this goofy piece of equipment because we're in a hurry we want to mow and hopefully make some hay before the rain that is supposed to be here tomorrow night so that'll give us two days to dry some grass I hope we'll see
And I think I have decided I want to put chickens right here. They will fit right behind the machine shop. And it will fit perfectly. Well, it fits pretty good. Just like that. Always scared to pull the trigger. Bingo. We have a chicken pen. And let's see. One rooster. And let's get six chickens. And we will populate our chicken pen out of six chickens. We are just coming back from picking up one package of chicken feed. Whoa! Lost steering control there. Feed the chickens. Why isn't that going in? Oh, we don't have any chickens. There we go. Now it's filling. Perfect. Next thing I decided to do is buy some mowing equipment and to run it we need to have our engine cranked up to the maximum 261. I like to keep it as the case. And we need a windrow. And we should be able to take all three pieces back at one time. It might be a little front end heavy. Uh, like that. But if we hook it up... Oh, you know what? Haha. -ha. Let's add some wheel weights. There we go. Wides and weights. Now it won't be as light on the front end. Or on the back end. Heavy on the front end. You know what I meant. I think I'm going to start mowing back here in the back corner. And the edge of the map won't let me sneak by. Mow this spot back here. I have a new set of skills that I need to learn. One is typing messages while driving, and the other one is driving and dealing with lag as is the case from time to time like right there but it's not too bad It's not very good grass back here, but we'll get something. 
Better than nothing, if I'm just going to plow it up anyway, I might as well try and get some grass off of it. And <laughs> the invisible game wall. There we go. Now let's see how far we can run this. And we started bogging down pretty heavy right here, so I think we're going to turn left and follow the contour of the hill. And this will be as high up as we go, for now anyway. If I make a field down here, I'll just plow up to this height. I won't plow any higher. Looks like that's what Bintar did next to me. dive down. Ah! I didn't want to creep over the line. Sorry, Bentar. Oh, did it again. I need to learn how to use GPS. I'm sorry, Raznak, but those beans just do not look very good. Let's get as close to them as we can here. contour around this little mini forest. And there we go. We have made one entire loop. I did that little flat area there earlier. But now I have to just mow and fill in the inside. So let me get to it and I'll be back. Just finishing up the last two passes. This grass is a little bit nicer than what was behind the forest on the other side of the bean field. This is going to make one big field. Bigger field than I'm used to. This is wet grass, so we're going to need to tet it before we can let it dry to make hay. Ooh, be careful here. Don't go into the beans. And we are coming back with our new tedder. It's not the biggest tedder, but we got plenty of time. And now we have dry grass. This won't take long at all. I can fly with this piece of equipment. Well, it took me longer than I thought. This is a big field. That was about a half hour's worth of work there. 
but we got that done. I have to run back over here to the other side and get behind those trees on the other side of the bean field. And there we go. Just finishing up. Oh, that lag every now and then it just stabs you. There we go. Grass is all ready. Now we need to wait for it to turn to hay. I need to put a road in here through these trees. Here you can see the area that we mowed in the upper right corner. On the grass that we mowed up here between the fields, I've decided we're going to go ahead and make that into silage. Even though we already tedded it and made it into dry grass. I'm thinking we might get into some cows. If we do, we'll want to have a little silage to mix. If we don't get the cows, then we can sell it. We can go up to a maximum of 500,000. Let's buy a square baler, because I always hate myself if I buy a round baler. And let's go get it. We're going to take a scenic drive up through town here. And a left turn here. And we're at the store. There it is. The plow seems to be doing a little dance there on the field. At this point, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do for animals, so I'm thinking if we get some silage bales and hay bales, we'll have those in case we want to do some cows. Okay, that spot's ready to plow. And let's make a field.
Ta-da! All done. And now we will fertilize everything that used to be in oats. This whole field over here on this side, which is the south side of our farm. And now I have to figure out how to work this. Fertilizing is done, and now it is time to cultivate. what I do. Why won't it run? Aw oh, man, I ran out of gas. Diesel. Fuel. Oh. Okay. I rented a little pickup and a fuel trailer and went and got gas, diesel, and it came back filled up and we finished the field. I decided we needed to widen this field out just a little bit so I knocked down a couple more trees tossed them over there on the cultivator and we're gonna widen this field out just a little bit like we did the other one. Not a lot just a little bit. Every little bit will help And now we have that field ready to go. We are into day three and I have some grass bales that I have not yet wrapped. So we just ran up to the store, purchased a wrapper with pink covering and we are going to wrap up our grass bales. Wrapping grass bales. Check. There we go. And looky there, we have hay. We need to get this windrowed up and baled before rain. I have been playing around with GPS and I'm starting to get the hang of it here.
but I still miss a little bit every time I climb the hill so I have some setting that I'm gonna have to mess with. We are finally done windrowing up the hay and I am going to be bailing late into the night because it is supposed to rain at midnight-ish so I want to make sure I get all this hay saved. I want to thank you for staying and watching the entire video if you did. I'm sure having fun with the group. Stay tuned. Next episode coming soon.